Yo, chat. Ever since Red Bull Kumite and now CEO Finals, I've been meaning to talk to you guys about player intros. Now, player intros have been happening at tournaments or specifically CEO for a while now. Like, I remember since like 2015, at least for my, my remembrance. But there have been some for sure that have stood out above the others when it comes to actual player intros. I want to take a look at some of my personal favorites. Now, I couldn't find all the ones. I think some are lost to history because I guess they just weren't recorded when people were actually recording the matches. Sometimes they recorded the intros before it. Some of them they didn't, but these are some of the favorite ones that I have seen uh, throughout my years that have, of course, stood the test of time and have made it on their way to the YouTubes. Let's go and take a look at some of these. I think some of these are really interesting. Now, chat, what will we be doing here if we weren't going to talk about the Dragon Ball Fighters Top 8 entrance, specifically the Apology Man one, because Kazunoko just knew exactly what to do to make the perfect moment. Let's go and talk about this one. Let's see this one. Oh, it's the end. It's the end. It's oh, it's Shatsu. Oh, my God. <laughs> Throws up the rock. Throws up the rock. Yo, that is definitely Teemo. That is definitely, that is definitely Teemo. <laughs> That is definitely Timo. You know what? I'm glad that he is embracing his TN because we did say that his Piccolo was whack. Oh, yeah. Got, a, got the TN. Got the Jehovah yeah. up. The Jehovah. The third eye open? I didn't With the third know. eye? You got to like it. Yo, Beast Coast. 2020 20 vision. Man, I don't know if he can actually chuck Timo as, as Chaozu, but <laughs> that dude, that would be so beast, actually. <laughs> wow, Chaozu's going in. Oh, he's going to hold the, the ropes for him. Yo, the, the MVP Chaozu oh, holding the ropes for you? You know you made it. Right now. This is up the rock. Thing. Let's go. All right, man. Chaozu always on deck for the for the homies. Oh, uh -oh what's going on? Uh oh, wait a minute. What's going on here? So what has a Chaozu? Oh, oh! Chaozu no! <laughs> Chaozu no! Oh man, I love it. Oh, and I he hits it. the deck. <laughs> oh, is that oh, Yamcha? Yamcha? It's Yamcha no! The perfect oh, moment. The perfect time to have an overview camera. <laughs> Come on, chat. It's the perfect moment. They made this so dang good for no reason. Uh, yeah, well, I think it is. I think it's a pretty start. Good start for intros. Uh, this one was pretty good. A lot of people really took this, and specifically because Kazunoko obviously at the time was a Yamcha player, it made totally sense that he'll do the Yamcha pose. He was destroying people with Yamcha at this time uh, with the team that he's playing, and of course we all knew that Apology Man was rocking TN. Um, which I believe still is and yeah, this is made for a fantastic moment when it came to actual intros uh, It just made perfect sense that the two players that were playing it were representing the characters that they played Right before they played this top eight at CEO 2018. So really nice really nice now This next one is a classic if you know, you know, but if you don't know you you in for a little treat Watch this watch this at one point in time largely considered he was second place last year to loopy in evolution and at that point in time, he was one of those players that was considered... So I think Bonchan just did his intro. Player ...on the planet. Yeah, it really seemed like that. And since then, his success has been a little bit... Who knows lesser, this one? But he is still a threat. How long you been in the community? Who knows this a one? very, very strong player. But his opponent is... His oppo who's his opponent? Who's his opponent? Who's his opponent, chat? Yeah, who's his opponent? They're waiting for the intro to start. He, d he dimmed the lights. Oh my god. He's already there, chat. He's already there. Staring at the opponent. Mr. Kevin Landon of New York you, City. You have to get that with some credit. I'm not gonna lie. I'm not gonna lie. Everybody's waiting for an intro. Everybody's expecting my man to come out in the grandest fashions. But nah. My man said, dim the lights. I'll be there. And they, they like, what do you mean you'll be there? He's like, I'll be there. Dim the lights. Turn him back on. I'll be there. And my man showed up just like that. That is a godlike intro. Who would have think of that? Everybody's waiting for you to show out through the curtains, but you already on stage. Godlike. Got to give it to that minute for that one. All right, chat. So another CEO 2018 moment. This is from Street Fighter V Top 8 Interests. Now, this one, I missed this guy, by the way. Knuckle Dew, uh with the Mika assist. Now, you know you are a bad person when you coming out with a person that is cosplaying your character or you're cosplaying your character yourself and you helping with the assist. You know you are a loyalist. You know you really mean business with that character that you're coming out there with. 
He's saying, hey, I don't need no counter picks. This is what I'm picking. You already know. And I'm still about to beat you all because y'all know this is my shit. This intro, while it isn't like the craziest, I just respect a person that, you know, comes out with their character. But also, he had to put a little bit extra flair in there. And uh, you, you'll see what I mean. He needs to come out to I'm a real American, Hulk Hogan, or Mika. What? Let's go. The rainbow Mika, sis. To the DJ Khaled and Flo. Got the chair. Nadesco. Knuckle dude making his But this was down. unnecessary, bro. Oh, dude, boy. Man. Yo, yo, he's throwing the money. Yeah, he's making it rain. This you dude know, is not Come on, bro. Giving you money. money to burn? Just like he's that? Gonna Look, he's going to call it. Somebody actually fell or somebody fell. That's, he already knew that Somebody was got happen. chaired. Nadesco did, uh, sorry, Mika did the work for Nadesco, it looks like. Bruh. Mika hit the man with the chair trying to get the money? Yeah, that, that's definitely those real are, money. Those are American dollars. He's an American. He's knuckle, dude. My man got he hit got with, the chair? with the chair? <laughs> See, that's why you need security. That's why you have an R Mika. Dang, he threw the money. He the, tried to come out. Mika hit him with the chair. That's crazy. She's her own oh, assist this time. Coming out. She was her own assist this time. Nice intro. Not, not like I said, not the craziest, but had the flair. Had the chair assist. Had the money toss for no reason, but it was there. I like it. Now, chat, why flair does make a good intro, a good story can also make a good intro. So this intro right here, that Filipino man made for Chris during this top eight for Kum uh, Red Bull Kumite Las Vegas, this was pretty good because it had a great story behind it about his journey of getting into this actual finals day. Um, you know, I believe he was the actual uh, finals per final person that won the uh, actual last chance qualifier. So he had to go through some people and then also, I guess, some people that were doubting his abilities. So he also had to put them on blast too. So let's watch this intro and you'll see what I'm talking about. Incredible. Everybody congratulate the last, the last one, Chris C.C.H. Revenged. You ripping posters. Oh, yes. Eliminated. Oh, my Eliminated. God. Oh, my God. Slain. Eliminated. Oh See, are you the disrespect. The disrespect. So the thing that makes this one's pretty good is you can see on the actual posters themselves, which I believe they showcased them uh before they actually did the intro. They like actually like had them like pictures of them on Twitter. So when they actually did it, uh they could tell like the whole story behind it. Some of them apparently had like tweets and stuff like that, talking, I guess talking about Chris or whatever. And these were some of the people that he just happened to run into in the bracket and eliminated them on his way to actually becoming a person in the finals from the last chance qualifier. So it's just one of those cases where the story writes themselves, you know, people talking about you, you get a chance to fight them, and behold, you get your sweet, sweet victory and, of course, your revenge for your boys. So this was a very good intro. And then, of course, later on in the fight, he had one more poster versus a person that he also, uh, I guess, another person that was, I guess, talking talking about him or he just had it in there for elimination and he ran into that person as well and as soon as he fought them inside the bracket and he eliminated him he ripped that one up too so you know he had a story element also taught outside of the intro too which made it even that much better because he had that one poster extra waiting uh for that final victory so very very nice i liked it i like the story for this one for sure now chat if you know you know but don't spoil it for everybody this one by far one of my favorite intros i have seen to date i think this is the intro that got me to pay attention to CEO of the tournament. Once I saw this intro, I think, for the first time, I think this is where I was like, I want to go to this tournament. I literally think this was the moment when I watched this top eight right here and this intro happened. Uh, shout outs to my boy, Kenneth Bradley. Let's do it. Come on, man. Oh, here we go. Come on, Kenneth Bradley. Do us some justice. Kenneth Bradley. Uh-oh. Let's go see Boston, eh? this intro was godlike now if you know ceo is based on like a wrestling event so of course somebody had to come out with some wrestling right beautifully performed by the way <laughs> he's really into it he's really into it What an intro. He mean this. 
<laughs> you can tell he's having fun, bro. Imagine if this is what your top eight opponent does. Got the bears. We ain't done yet. Oh! <laughs> this intro is so godlike. This shit is broken, bro. It's so good. Oh, man. It is such a good intro. It is such, such a good intro. This one is broken. Like I said, easily, I think the moment that made me say, I want to go to this tournament, bro. I want to go to this tournament. I want to experience these intros. Hopefully, I can get an intro one day. Yeah, it's just one of those type of tournaments, bro. And I think this really solidified my eagerness to be a part of this for sure. I was already like this two years inside of my fighting game career. But when I saw this, I knew definitely I wanted to go to this tournament for sure. And I mean, Jabali makes runs great tournaments, by the way. So if you haven't gone to a CEO, definitely check out one of his tournaments if you can, because uh, CEO is a great tournament to go to for sure. But yeah, for the people on the YouTube, let me know which one was your favorite entrance. Also, if your favorite entrance didn't make it here and there's another one that you do like, let me know which one you've seen over your course of years of fighting game entrances that you like the best. Let me know down in the comments below. Definitely want to know. When is Daikin getting an entrance one day? I don't know, man. You know, it's crazy too now that you say that because I've been thinking about exactly which intro or song would I pick for my intro and how would I do it? I pictured that so many times. Like when I went to this tournament, like, okay, what would I do if I get this top eight? Like what, what would be my intro? I constantly think about that when I'm at a CEO tournament. It's, it's funny, actually.